The motion was tabled by the leader of the popular democratic movement, McHenry Vanani, contributing to the debate. Higher Education, Training and Innovation Minister Dr. Itakaji Morangi says the Medical and Dental Council is responsible for evaluating and assessing all medical qualifications to ensure public safety. In many of the specialized fields, the attainment of a qualification does not imply com competency or give one a license to practice professionally. In specialized fields, Graduation merely ushers one into a robust internship program where monitoring and evaluation to verify the existence of demonstrable requisite professional and practical knowledge, skills and competences is done. Dr. Kanji Morangi told Parliament there is no need for a further parliamentary Thank inquiry as the issue of foreign trained Honorable doctors' Speaker. qualifications is receiving government attention through relevant ministries and agencies. However, the All People's Party president warned against protectionism of professional councils. We must guard, because what is happening here is the professional council, whether it's the engineering council, whether it's the health council, whether it's all the architectural council and all this kind of thing, there is rampant protectionism, trying to exclude others and only maintaining those ones that are there. As government addresses this matter of foreign graduates, please let's look at these professional councils. Are they doing justice to all foreign qualified students or not? However, Vanani insisted on the need for the Health Professional Council to explain the vetting process and respond to claims made by the students. If it is true that some of these students were found to be substandard in certain areas, we as parliamentarians consciously need to know and ascertain the facts that is it the students that are substandard or the institution where they are coming from? What makes this particular student substandard? Is it the institution or their behavior towards learning? 